YouTubers is Super Dale, and I'm back with another awesome video. Listen, before we even get things started, if you're browsing through, you're new to the channel, or you're new to this page, go ahead, click that subscribe button. Now, throughout the video or during the end of the video, you may want to hit that like button. That just lets me know you're engaged and it keeps me motivated to make more and more videos. Now, on this video, on my platform, I show you a little bit of everything from Cody builds to apps to, you know, showing you network, uh, different things to make you know about the box and to ultimately make the box yours. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video and don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Uh, we're going to go into hotspot. All right. Because if you didn't know, your, your box is a hot spot just waiting to be turned on. All right. So like today is Memorial Day. If you don't want everybody knowing your home network password, your Wi-Fi password, you can actually turn your box into a hot spot and give them that password. All right. So a hot spot is basically a physical location where people may obtain Internet access typically using Wi-Fi technology via wireless local area network, which you may hear acronym of WLAN using a router connected to an internet service provider. You may say, what is an internet service provider? That's your Comcast, your Bright House, your Spectrum, your WOW, your Time Warner, your Cox, Verizon, and so AT&T, so, so many more, y'all. It's a lot of them out there. But those are your internet providers. Usually when you go to a hotel and you connect to their they Wi-Fi, that's a hot spot. Okay? So, as you see, guys, I'm on Wi-Fi. Now, I tried to connect the box. I tried to turn on the hot spot, you know, using. And let me get up out of here. All right? Let me go to my settings. So, I want to show you that I am on Wi-Fi as of right now. And go into more settings. Okay. And I try and I tried and I tried to connect the portable hotspot, but it was giving me problems. It was giving me problems because it was on Wi-Fi, which is strange because your phone is on Wi-Fi and you could turn that into a hotspot. But maybe this box I have in front of me, the Wii Chip V5 is just not capable of it. I don't know. So what you have to do, if you look up here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see me plug the Ethernet up to my box. You're going to see that icon change as you just seen it right there. And again, I'm going to show you how to get to your hotspot just in case I went fast, y'all. So if you go into your settings, your settings may be a little different, but just go into your settings. All right. I'm going to show you that I'm on Ethernet right now. See, it's connected Ethernet. And I am running Android 6.0. And so um, I think 5.1, you can go, um, it's similar to this, how this look. Just go into more settings. And then don't click on Wi-Fi, just go to more. All right. And as you see, leave airplane, airplane mode alone. <laughs> Say that 20 times. All right. Um, but go to portable hotspot. All right. And turn it on. You see where it says portable Wi-Fi hotspot? Turn it on. And you're going to see it's going to switch over. Okay. And then go over here where it says set up Wi-Fi hotspot. And again, mine's is plugged in. Mine's is plugged in um, to the Ethernet. So if you have a box that does it on Wi-Fi, good, great. Uh, but... If in order to use it, if it doesn't work on there, it will, it will recognize it. You will see it, but I just couldn't get it to work um, on my phone. So um, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just name it Superdale TV, right? I'm going to just put TV. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And whatever you name the password, it must be eight characters, all right? And so I'm going to name it, and I'm going to show it right here. All right, I'm going to just say subscribe. Okay. As you see, it's set up. Subscribe is my password. Superdale TV is the uh, uh, username, the network name, rather. 
Unfortunately, you only get 2.4 gigahertz. So, I mean, hey, it's all good. It's for your, your guests anyway. And then just click save. Now, guys, let me turn it back on because it's saved. And I'm just going here just to make sure everything is good. All right. Now, I'm going to turn my attention. I'm about to grab my phone. That way, I can show this and then show you in real time um, how to turn your box into a hotspot. Give me a second. Okay, tubers. All right. So, I just want to show you that um, I'm still on my box. Hopefully, you see that. And I'm getting ready to hook the phone up. All right. So, when people come over your house and they want to use that Wi-Fi, you can actually give them um, the box. All right. So, let me try to focus this. And again, Superdell TV is the network name. And subscribe is the password. So I'm going to really try to focus this. I'm going to drop this down. Go into my settings. All right. I'm going to Wi-Fi. And look at that. You see Superdale TV? All right. It disappeared. But there I go right there. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to click on it. All right. Now it's asking me for the password. And the password is subscribe. So let me make sure. S U B S Oops S C R I B E Oh man I messed up y'all subscribe Alright so that's the password right only thing you got to do is hit connect and it says obtaining IP address and it is connected, right? So to make sure it's connected, I'm going to just do something right quick. Let me go to uh, the internet. All right. And I'm going to just go to ESPN.com. And this is one of my older phones. There it is right there, y'all. And just to show you, just to show you where I'm hooked up to, when I go to my Wi-Fi, I am hooked up to my box that's named Superdale TV. All right? So, again, um, this is just one way, guys. So, when whenever you're having a, you know, a party, some type of gathering at your house, instead of giving people your username and password... You can actually give them, um, you know, uh, give them this. That way you ain't giving up your home network to anyone. Now, I know some of you people might say, uh, well, just go down to your router, go into your network and change it. But it's not as simple as it for everyone, you know, to do that. Um, I can go to bestbuy.com. Look at that. Like I said, it's only running 2.4 gigahertz. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to do a speed test on it. Let's do that right now. Let's do a speed test. And again, it may not work for everybody. Or you may get yours to work on Wi-Fi. Because it's similar to your phone, but... You know, um, each box is different. So I'm going to just hit begin test so you can see what it's letting out. So it's 24 right now coming off that box. All right. I don't know what just happened there. But I'm going to run it again, just so y'all can see it. Let's test one more time. There we go. So it's in the 20s. I don't know. It's dipping all the way back down.
more time. Just to get the kinks out of it. Yeah, sometimes you got to get the kinks up out of it. So roughly around 30, I'm running. But, hey, it is what it is. But again, Superdell, subscribe to the channel. Like the channel. And um, you got any comments or questions, leave them in the comment area, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Again, another great video um, that someone didn't know about, and now you know. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Peace.